I'm stuck in this path for every little thing bad too much. Good morning. It is Friday morning and I am headed to the pool. It is 531. I have pushed my wake up schedule back from 4.30 a.m. to 4.55 a.m. So 25 extra minutes in the morning. I did get over seven hours, not as much as I would like. Got to bed a little bit later, but seven hours plus. So that is good. And uh, it is 63 degrees this morning, which it's funny how when the temperature changes just a little bit, at least for me, all of a sudden it, it feels cold outside. It was in the 90s yesterday, but 63 this morning feels quite cold. Today, I've got one more fairly easy day today. Uh, one hour swim is all I have on the training calendar. And I will probably leave here as soon as I'm done, get home. And again, I have a little bit later start this morning as far as meetings. So nine o'clock is my first meeting. So I'll leave here, get home, grab Maple and take her out for another five mile walk. I always like getting those long walks in early in the morning with her. And then because I leave on Wednesday and it is my daughter's birthday while I am gone. So her birthday is on the 24th. We're gonna have a little birthday party for her this weekend, a slumber party, a bunch of girls staying at the house. They are gonna swim, they're gonna watch movies. It's gonna be wonderful. I am gonna start to get my stuff together today a little bit, at least maybe some of the clothes I need, get my laundry done, because Saturday and Sunday will be a little bit busy with them there. And uh, we've got a tropical storm. It's hard to tell with the news and, and how big this is gonna be, but supposedly we have a tropical storm coming towards Southern California that we haven't seen in uh, like 85 years or something. So right now it looks like it might rain on Sunday and Monday. So swapping the weekend workouts around, gonna do my swim and my run on Saturday. That way, if it is raining, I can do my ride, my final longish ride on uh, Sunday on the bike trainer. Ready to swim? Mm -hmm. Ready to swim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. swim this morning, 3,700 yards. A little bit strange though. Today I was feeling some cramps in my legs, actually my like my upper quads and my calves. And sometimes I get cramps in the bottom of my feet when I use fins too much, uh, but that really wasn't the case today. And uh, a little bit of cramps in the bottom of the feet and the toes. So maybe I'm just a little low on electrolytes, not really sure. So I'm gonna make sure I take a packet of LMNT today just to make sure I get an extra dose of electrolytes, sodium, magnesium, potassium. Load up on that before the weekend of workouts. It is lunchtime and here in Southern California, we are hearing lots of news about Hurricane Hillary. Because of that, and we have a bunch of pine trees around the house, I'm going to spend my lunch cleaning out the gutters because at the end of winter last year, when it was raining, there were some areas that were kind of overflowing just because there's so many pine needles in there.
Well, that is good as it's going to get. I cleaned out as much as I could. All of my barrels are full of pine needles. I really need to get on top of the roof and get all of that off. But with any luck, there will be enough wind in this storm that it'll blow all those pine needles off and then I just need to rake them up. If they don't, then I'll get on the roof after the storm has passed and knock all the rest of the pine needles on top of the roof off. Well, I am back home from running to my mom's and now just packing up for tomorrow. Switching it up this weekend, typically ride on Saturday and open water swim run on Sunday, but because it is going to be raining on Sunday, don't really want to get in the water after it's rained because I don't want to take a chance of getting sick. And usually it's pretty nasty uh, right after it rains. So I am going to, so I am headed down to Newport tomorrow, Newport Dunes, going to get my open water swim in there and then do my run after. It is now almost 7 p.m. Just waiting for the girls to get home. On Fridays, they have musical theater class, and that is the one, one of the events I don't take them to because they typically go straight from school. And uh, just gonna hang out here. Not, uh, not much tonight. Gonna try and get another good night's sleep in bed, asleep by nine. We'll be getting up at five tomorrow, headed down to the beach. She was waiting for you girls. She was sitting out there waiting for you. Come on, Mips. Come take control. Good morning from the car again. I am headed down to Newport Beach. I actually overslept a little bit. My alarm went off at uh, five and uh, dozed right back off, which I rarely ever let happen. When the alarm goes off, I typically jump right out of bed and try and get up and get moving. But for some reason, I laid there for just a minute and I fell back asleep, woke up 5.20, needed to be in the car at 5.35. Ah, all right, well, 20 minute warm up and a few sets of strides. Got that all done. Now I've got six 1K runs at between 7.15, 7.45. Not looking at the watch, just trying to run a race pace and uh, then just cool down for the remainder of an hour. felt like a super productive morning. Workouts felt really good. Ended up running nine miles, ran a little bit further than I should have because I was out further than I thought I was when I finished my last rep, but ended up doing six 1K intervals and ran anywhere between like a 7.05 to a 7.30, 7.40. Uh, kind of ramped up quicker and quicker each 1K and then 
Overall, nine miles, felt really good. After that, came back to the dunes and hopped in the water, just did a 1,000 yard swim. Swam at a pretty good pace. I wasn't killing myself, but I was swimming around a 125 per 100, so that felt really, really good as well. I really feel like my swimming is coming along, so I'm excited to see how my swim goes in Finland because it'll be back in a lake, so no current, uh, not an ocean swim, don't got salt water for buoyancy, so lake swim. I am the very last heat of the men, which is pretty disappointing. The 45 to 49 is the last heat of the day. So while the first heat goes off, the pros start, I believe at seven or somewhere around there. I don't actually start the race until 940 ish. So almost two hours and 40 minutes. My buddy, Tony, Tony from the podcast, he's starting right around seven or 7.30 or something like that. So I'm actually starting the race two hours, more than two hours after he starts, which is a, that's a bummer. That makes for a very long morning in transition because you still have to get there by seven when transition closes. So even from the point when transition closes, I have almost two hours until I get in the water. Regardless, I'm feeling really good in the water, so I'm excited to see what kind of swim I will have. And that run felt really good. It actually felt better to be running in that 7.30 to low seven pace than it did to jog it out in the beginning and the end. I feel like my hip flexors are still very sore and I can feel them when I'm running slower. And then when I start running faster and I get that little bit of lean and I'm moving a lot quicker, I don't notice them. But now I am headed home. I have five hours, four and a half hours until all of Emmeline's friends show up for her birthday day hangout swimming, I don't know what all they're doing. And then they're sleeping in the living room tonight. They're doing a slumber party. So I've got about four and a half hours until that starts to happen. Hello, hello. You smelling my stinky clothes? Are you smelling my stinky clothes, huh? Let's go, go. Now the Saturday chores begin. I've got a bunch of recycling to cut up. I wanna get that done today before the rain comes. It sounds like the storm is going to hit California pretty hard. Looks like tomorrow morning around 6 a.m. the rain is going to start. So today, getting all of this stuff cut up, put outside, get as much of the garbage out so I don't have to do that in the rain tomorrow. Then pull all of the cushions and the umbrellas down, all of that stuff, just in case the storm is really bad and it's super windy. That stuff doesn't get trashed or tossed around. Well, we spent the afternoon cleaning up, getting ready for Emmeline's party. She has got things decorated and they are doing a bunch of beads. So friendship bracelets, things like that. We have the golden photo backdrop. And here is where the girls plan to sleep. I am gonna end episode two of the countdown to Ironman 70.3 World Championships now. I've gotta edit this video so it can get out tomorrow morning. And there's a party going on right outside my door. I hear lots of laughing and yelling and just, uh, I don't know what they're getting into, but I'm gonna go check that out. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, I'm gonna try and get as many of these videos out as I can between now and the race. I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you in the next one.